I'm Meta from the Asteroids Galaxy Tour and we're here at Phonofest. Got the backstage in there, got the horns, they're practicing because we're gonna play for a long time and some songs we haven't played together yet, so it's gonna be first time for the horn players to play it. Uh, we have different people coming in and out sometimes, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. I must say, I, I don't know anything about uh, Latvia, uh, like really information or anything. Um, uh, one of our good friends, he's um, he's married to a girl from Latvia. He's actually one of Lasse's friends. Lasse is over there. Uh, his friend is married to a girl. Um, and there's a Eurovision song contest. Latvia! You know, so... Uh, but uh, I might know... Lasse, do we know? Lasse, what do we know about Latvia? Mushrooms? And stripper men, male strippers, maybe. <laughs> Why? Male strippers. Why well, male strippers? Maybe. I'm asking, do you have a lot of male strippers? Male strippers? No. <laughs> um, me and Lars are the main core, and um, we met up in 2007, and, and Lars had some songs, some ideas, and he wanted me to sing on it. And we've been knowing each other for many years, and we started working on it, and we got in contact with the booking agency, and they said, oh, Winehouse is playing in Copenhagen, uh, you want to support? And they were like, uh, yes, but we, we have got no band yet. So we had to to call our friends and, and rehearse one or two times. And we played for 20, 20 minutes. And that was the first show. So I guess you need to start somewhere. We, we like to create fictive characters as well and, and have this um, the music to be explosive and full of different things. So it's not just this or that. and. We like it to be dramatic and romantic, um, so it can be about everything. We, we like uh, spy movies, uh, gangster TV series. Uh, um, what about comic books? Co yeah, also comic books. It's not. It's it's been many years since I, I've read comic books, but when I was ten, yes, I did. Um, so it's it, it, it's not for the the comic sense of it. It's for music, and it's it can be blue, it can be dark, it can be um, uplifting. We, we like to have all of that in our music because that's how we feel inside. We're, we're not only just sad or ooh. We, we're kind of both. Yeah, that makes the the perfect energy, I think. So so that's what we that's what happens when we with our music. We just click uh, musically on that. So. It, it just came natural, and that's so. It's, so it's great for us to to work on the songs and we work in the studio. What uh, century you would like to live? Because you have this song about the golden age. The golden and, age. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think a lot of people they dream about. Oh, I wish I lived for, uh, there and experienced that. And I think everyone's got that. And you know, I. I've, I hate being asked specific things like that because I want to say a little bit of here, a little bit of there. So, but it's probably the past, not the future. You're living it. Well, maybe uh, we live in the future. <laughs> uh, we just released our second album, so uh, right now we're not planning on releasing uh, something in the nearest future. Um, we have a lot of festivals. We've been playing a lot of festivals, touring the states, in Europe, and we're going to Brazil next. Um, and we're going to uh, Holland and Denmark and uh, America again and let's see what happens, you know, we, we take it like uh, day by day and but in the near future we're gonna play a lot so that's that's great it's um, it's a, a, a great thing for us to be able to travel we feel very happy about that I mean to be able to go outside the borders that's what we dreamt about when we started out 